This is a pleasant walk through typical Wildon countryside of woods, ponds and fields edged with hedgerows. In these hedges we can see the colourful and fragrant flowers of summer such as wild rose and honeysuckle and watch gatekeeper and meadow brown butterflies visiting the bramble blossom. Some of the hedges have wild hops twining through them and together with the converted oast houses we pass on the walk they provide a reminder of the time when hop growing was an important activity here. However today most of the fields are used for growing other crops or grazing animals. The pretty orange and brown gatekeeper butterfly is sometimes called the hedge brown and both of these names are apt as it can be seen flying around hedgerows and gateways in midsummer. It often visits bramble blossoms and other flowers such as thistles and knapweeds and can also be seen basking on leaves with wings fully open. The eye spots on the wings are probably designed to distract birds into pecking at that part of the wing rather than at the vulnerable head or body. The caterpillars feed on various grasses and hibernate when quite small, resuming feeding in the spring. If you build it, they will come. Afternoon again everyone, hope you're keeping well. I'm back out in Kent again this afternoon doing another summer walk from the Kent Year Round Walks book. This one is four miles and as you've seen from the video already I'm in Chiddingstone Causeway. I'm currently sat in Chiddingstone Nature Reserve, it's a small bit of woodland with some ponds that seem to be dried out. It's very, very hot out today. It's about 30 degrees. I'm on my own. Uh, Candice is busy at work. It's midweek, or thereabouts, it's Tuesday. I've got a week off work, so I thought I'll use the opportunity to get all the summer walks done from this book. As I said, that is the plan to finish this book by the end of the year. So, Aside from the usual stuff for lunch, I won't bore you with that. Chicken sandwiches, crisps, protein bars, that sort of thing. I've got another Lily Cider to show you. It's a new one, one that I've not had before. This one is Lemon and Lime Cider, 4% lightly sparkled. A refreshing blend of tangy citrus fruits and crisp Somerset cider. A real taste of summer. That's why I picked it. 
So I'm going to crack this one open. There's a tractor in the field just opposite, so you're going to be hearing that coming back every time he does a lap of the field. Uh, I'm sort of sat overlooking a huge dried out pond. There's, yeah, there's nothing nothing left of it. The, the book said that there was loads of ponds in this woodland, but they must have been ponds a long time ago because these are dry as a bone. So cheers everyone for watching so far. Hope you've enjoyed the video. It's nice to be out on my own every now and then, doing a little walk. I find I actually walk a lot quicker as well. Um, and I, I do more, I think, interesting and creative shots with the camera. I suppose it's because I feel like I'm, I'm kind of not slowing people down by constantly stopping to set the tripod up and stuff like that. Um, I think people forget how much work goes into making a video, like making a walking video. Um, yeah, even a short walk can take ages because you're constantly walking back and forth, getting the camera. I mean, anyone can just shoot a POV shot, you know, video. And that's crap, you know, but like doing stuff where you've got like walking shots and time lapses and things like that and getting different photos as well. Photos for social media is a ball ache. Like I have to film in two different resolutions, two different size pictures so that because Instagram, Instagram's a bastard basically and they won't accept too big a photo or too high a resolution. So I have to take shots in that and then like in a, a smaller resolution and then for like photos for the video or for my community page they have to be a higher resolution sort of a bigger picture so you don't get the two black lines either side anyway it's just a pain in the ass really it's so annoying you know yeah so it's all them people that like slag off videos and stuff i just think you try making them because honestly the amount of effort that goes into them it's a joke you know, and I wouldn't even consider myself a, a talented filmmaker or anything. Like, it's pretty amateurish at best. And, you know, the stuff like, like you know, like, say, like, Hayes or Simon, Bloke in the Wood does, stuff like that. Andy, Kent, Survival, you know, the effort they put in and the amount of clever shots and stuff they get. And you just think, that takes ages. Like, I didn't know how long it took until I started making videos. And you're just like, shit, this, it's hard work at times. But it's worth it though, it's worth it in the end. Anyways, we'll crack this bad boy open. So cheers. And yeah, there's a, a lime smell to it. I, I don't know about lemon really, just I'm smelling a lot of lime in this. But I can still s smell the cider, which is good. It reminds me, the smell reminds me of that um, honey and lemon antibiotics that you used to have as a kid. You know, the cough, the cough medicine. Um, yeah, it was really nice. I could drink loads of it, even though you didn't need to. Anyway, cheers. Oh, that's nice. That's so refreshing. Yeah, tangy citrus fruits. Crisp cider. It's faint. Tangy citrus fruits, definitely. That is refreshing. That is so nice. I could eat, I could drink a few of them, to be honest with you. That it just tastes like you're drinking lemon and lime flavoured water like a cordial almost you could you could get yourself seriously drunk on a on a summer day drinking some of them i don't know why these aren't in all pubs they're amazing these ciders that would be that would be so popular in pubs anyone could drink that <laughs> gee i'm gonna give i'm gonna give that a high rating that's at least a nine I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give that a 9.8 out of 10. That's like the perfect cider for today. It's boiling hot. That's perfect. So, so easy to drink. You can still taste a little bit of cider, but it's yeah, it's mainly lemon and lime. That is really good. 9.8 for Lily's lemon and lime cider. To be fair, when I saw that on the website, I think that was the first one I put in the basket. I was like, that sounds amazing. I could drink this probably in a couple of minutes. That is, that's a damn near perfect cider. Wow. Anyways, I'm going to get eating. Like I said, I won't bore you with that. Just wanted to show you the cider. And then we'll we'll crack on with the walk as well. Oh yeah. And uh, I 
suppose you saw my uh, shoes, my new shoes at the beginning. Got them cheap on eBay, brand new, like literally brand new. Like there was still the tissue paper inside them. Uh, they're like OEX walking shoes. I don't know what the, the exact name is, but they're by OEX, size 10. They've got Vibram or Vibram soles. So they're good quality soles, so I've heard. <laughs> um, and I got them for £35. I don't know if it was, it was like just an eBay seller that happened to have a few boxes of them. <laughs> Excuse me. And they had size 9 or size 10. And I thought well, size 9 is a bit, probably a bit tight for me. I'm sort of between a 9 and a 10. And I thought, well, when you do a lot of walking, your feet tend to swell up a bit anyway. So I thought, go for the 10. And I, th I think they wanted like 40 quid or something. And it said, make an offer. And I went 35, free PMP, got them for 35 quid, brand new. I mean, they might have fallen out the, off the back of a lorry, who knows? Hopefully not. <laughs> the flying squad's looking for them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so far they're, they're pretty comfy. I thought I'd take them out today as it's only a four miler and it's it'd be nice amount just to sort of break them in and sort of get used to them so but so far they feel really comfy no issues with them of course you've got no ankle support it's a shoe would you expect but yeah soles are comfy yeah I'm, I'm liking them so all good anyways let's get eating Welcome back everyone, I've arrived back at Causeway Hall here in the centre of Chiddingstone Causeway. The car is just in front of me and that is the end of this video and this walk. I'm not going to lie, it's not been the most interesting walk I've been on. The little Chiddingstone nature reserve was nice. The oast houses were nice, but that was about it really. Um, as you can see, it is a hot one. I literally, like, it was only four miles, but just the heat just saps all your energy and your strength. It just, it feels very difficult to breathe when it's hot. So, um, yeah, I need to probably drink another bottle of water. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video anyway it's just nice to be out honestly i'm not complaining i'm not slagging off the area 
Um, just it wasn't the most interesting of walks, but a walk's a walk really. It's just nice to be out. It's better than being stuck at work or whatever. I'm not complaining at all. Anyways, until next time, take care of yourselves, look after each other, stay safe everyone, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.